Hello, it's Dougie from Valto, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my top five tips for using SharePoint for HR departments. Now, you might be working in the HR department already, and you have SharePoint, and you're just looking to spice things up a little bit and looking how to get the most use out of it. Or maybe you're working in the IT department and you're looking at rolling out SharePoint for general kind of use from your employees and how they could use it as a self-service portal. So I'm going to be talking to you about a few different aspects of SharePoint that you can use to make the most of it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is department sites inside of SharePoint. So a department site would be part of your overall intranet. Now your intranet, think of it as a cluster of many different SharePoint sites put together. And you would typically have an intranet homepage. Um, and that is basically the kind of top of the Christmas tree. That's the top area which ties all of your other SharePoint sites together. But amongst other different types of SharePoint sites, you might have, say, SharePoint sites for projects or programs or social initiatives or all sorts of different things. But I also recommend you have department sites. So one SharePoint site per department. Now, this is an example of a department site which is being used by the human resources department. Now, this site isn't necessarily just for storing information which is for human resources. Actually, it's wider than that. This is almost like a publishing platform. And actually, the type of SharePoint site is referred to as a communication site because we're communicating a message out to the wider organization. So it's owned by the human resources team but the content is for everybody. It's a self-service portal to help people understand more about the human resources department and the services and the information that they offer. So a typical department site might look something like this. Now, I would also recommend that you keep all your department sites looking reasonably consistent so that they know when, uh, as a user moving between the internet, you know when you're on a uh, department site and you know where the kind of navigation and where certain information is going to live. So on this site, we might want to break it down by having a site navigation to show who we are. So maybe a page dedicated to the leadership of that department um, and more information about the team members of that department. How we work, so maybe the vision, the priorities and the culture of our department, as well as the research, uh, resources like documents and pages and knowledge articles that we've shared from here. Now, this is a hero web part. This is just on navigation. So again, we could maybe link to recent information. So say, for example, if there's a new head of department or someone new that's joined, we might want to flag that as something that's quite large and obvious at the top of our department page. But we've also got things like our people, our values, our processes, our story, and we can link to all the different pages within inside of the SharePoint site. It might be that we're wanting to um, have a bit more details, information, learn about us, or give links, useful links, quick links to things which our department team is offering. The second top tip for HR in SharePoint is to use org charts. Now, we could use this anywhere in our internet, on the internet homepage, or we could put them specifically onto our department sites that we're looking at to make it much easier for people to understand who is part of a department who reports to who, and overall, how many team members there are in that department. So you could see here, we could add a web part to the page. It's simple to do. It's just an out-of-the-box web part called org chart. You specify who the kind of top of that, that pyramid um, is, and it will then show everything which comes uh, underneath that, who reports to that person. So you can see here, we've got Hugh, um, and then we've got all the people that report to Hugh listed underneath here. Um, further down on the page would bring me to my third top tip, which is to create department-specific news. Now, from a HR perspective, there's a, often a lot of kind of questions about new policies, information which is coming out, things like that. So a department-specific news for HR would be really useful to share with the wider organization. Now, the department news, say for example, we'd have news that's generated on our HR site, maybe on our uh, IT site, on our finance site, all the different key departments would be creating their own news, which can then also roll up onto the main intranet homepage. So remember, the site we're currently looking at is our department site. So the news that would be on there would be specific to that department. So as I scroll down, you can see here we've got news. Maybe from our HR department, we've got a newsletter for an employee newsletter, maybe some information about a town hall or a conference or a 
a strategy day or something that we've been doing recently in our organization that we want to share with the wider um, employees. We could also have a department events stored in here or even useful documents that we're wanting to allow people to easily have access to. The fourth tip I would say for HR departments is provide a frequently asked questions area inside of your SharePoint department site. I mean, I probably don't have to tell you, but there are so many questions which get bombarded to a HR department all the time. And quite often that information is documented somewhere that people could get hold of themselves, but they just don't know how to find it. So SharePoint is a great place to build out a knowledge base or at least a small frequently asked questions area that people can use as a self-service portal to go and get those answers before they have to then raise that with the HR department. There's a number of ways you could achieve an FAQ section in SharePoint, but this is my favorite. This is using sections of a page which are collapsible that we can then have buttons which link us directly to them if there was a number of different ones in here. And then you can see here we can expand them out. We can have a bit of an image, a bit of text um, just to answer those questions. So typically it would be say, what should I do if something happens? And then we answer the question underneath it. But again, it's all templated. So it, it's nice and easy to roll out new ones. Um, sometimes I get asked the question about how many FAQs would I recommend? Um, now, I would say in a format like this, you don't really want more than, say, somewhere between 10 and 20. Anything more than that is going to get a little bit overwhelming. And you'd be better at looking at building out more of a SharePoint knowledge base in which there are, are hundreds or thousands of pages. And you're leveraging more search engines and things like that to help people find that. But if it's just small, quick things that you know that people are always asking about, I mean, what, what's holiday entitlement? What um, what date do we get paid? All these typical kind of things. You could put that as a mini FAQ on your department SharePoint page. I just want to pause for a second to ask a quick favor. If you're enjoying our videos, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and ask any questions you have in the comments below. You can also go and check out our channel to see a full list of different types of videos all about Microsoft, whether it's about SharePoint or Power Apps or Copilot. There's loads of different content on there. If you need any help or professional services with Microsoft, we do offer development, training, adoption plans, and provide licenses for Microsoft 365. All you need to do is go to our webpage. Um, you can select one of the links here, and that will take you to our contact form, and you can get in contact with us let us know which YouTube video you saw that brought us to you um, and, and let us know how we can help you with your Microsoft 365 journey. But let's get back to the video. And the final top tip I have for HR departments is setting up employee folders. Now, this could be done in a number of areas of SharePoint. It could be a communication site, but that's typically not what you would usually set up for. It could be a team site, it could be a Microsoft team. It depends where you want to store it and who should have access to it. When I'm referring to employee folders, what's very common is instead of an organization, uh, HR department will want to have folders in which that they can share them with the employees and it's a kind of private space that only HR department and the employee have access to. And we can achieve that really easily with SharePoint. So let's jump in and take a look. Back on my SharePoint site, if I go into resources, um, I've got this documents link. Now, if your navigation looks different or you don't see documents up here, you can also get to the documents of a SharePoint site by clicking on the cog, clicking on site contents, and then you'll be able to see from the list which appears your documents uh, document library. Now, typically what we would do, say for a HR department, is you would create a new folder and maybe call it employees. Like so. Let's give it a different color. Let's give it, call, make it red so it stands out. Then in here, we would go in and create a folder for each one of our employees. So let's say, for example, there'll be a Dougie Wood folder. There might be um, Joe Blogs. One more. Ted Jones. So we've got multiple folders for each of our employees. Then within there, um, we could go in and we could actually start creating, say, folders for things like... Um, um, let's say personal um, development, um, it might be certificates, 
or training or things like that. Um, it could be anything we, we like um, store it within here. Then um, from this, um, we can actually restrict these employee folders so only HR department and the employee themselves have access to that. We can do that in a couple of different ways. Um, but if I select the folder and then click on this little information icon up here, I can click on Manage Access. From within here, I can then choose um, to stop sharing it with certain people or start sharing it with new people. So I can say start sharing and I could choose to share this with the employee, maybe their line manager um, or key people from HR. So that means then um, we've got an area which our employees have access to their own folders. We can we could make it if we wanted to that only the employee and HR could see them so that I couldn't see Joe Bloggs folder and he couldn't see mine because there might be confidential information in there. But essentially, this at a very high level is just showing you how easy it is to create folders for employees that can be shared. Now, if you have any questions about this, there's a link in the description below and you can contact us and we can discuss with you how we can help set up SharePoint with you to ensure that it's being properly optimized for your HR um, requirements. Thank you.